Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, let us see the most important types of microprocessors, guys. The first microprocessor is 8080, guys. It was invented in this year. So this is all the details of all the different microprocessors till 2000, guys. Fine. So the microprocessors that we will be covering in our syllabus are 8085 and 8086 microprocessors only, guys. So this chapter consists completely of 8085. And chapter 4 and 5 consists of 8086 guys. So 8085 is also covered in second chapter up to half guys. Half of the second chapter also consists of 8085 only. Okay. So I hope everyone is now clear with the types of different microprocessors. If you want you can just learn them guys. It's just optional for you. So now let us see the futures of a microprocessor. So what are the main things that you should check before creating a microprocessor. So the speed should be more. We need to have a vast number of instruction sets so that the operations will be really easy. Okay, there is a plus point that if the instructions are really less, memorizing them and using them will be, the efficiency will increase. But defining everything in few things is really tough guys. So that's the reason why we, uh, we search for more number of instructions. And data buses should be more, address, address bus should be more, control bus should be more, registers should be more obviously so manufacturer technology will should be good that may be of n type or p type or hmos or nmos technology any kind of technology and designing technology power yeah that's what i that was i was saying and packages packaging are few futures of the microprocessor so these are the key futures that you should check before you create a microprocessor or you start using a microprocessor so the basic block diagram of a microprocessor is this it has arithmetic logic units instruction decoder control unit and registers all are connected using the internal data bus okay guys so now i hope everyone got a small idea on different microprocessors and we also discussed the futures of 8z of microprocessor so in the next tutorial we will be starting with the architecture diagram of 8085 guys so let us meet in the next tutorial thank you thanks for watching